length of an arc. So in this video, I want to talk about how to find the length of an arc. So in my previous video, I talked about the circumference of a circle. So let me draw a circle. Say uh, this is a circle, okay? And the circumference is the distance around the circle. So circumference, I'll write C for circumference, is pi times the diameter. So this is the formula. If you want to find circumference, the distance around the circle, you find, uh, you do pi, which is a number, times the diameter. Now what's a diameter? Just for revision, it's, it's a length of a line segment which passes through the center. Okay, say this is the center, this is the center O, and say this is A and B. This line segment or AB is the, the, the length of AB is D. So you can say D is equal to length of AB. Length of AB is your diameter. Now, based on that, we want to find the length of an arc. Now, what is an arc? An arc is a part of the circle. Okay, suppose here, this, the this is a semicircle, so this is an arc. Okay, so this shaded part is the arc of the circle. So logically, what would be the length of this blue part? Okay, or the, the length of the circumference. So here, yeah, this would be logically. This is how much? This is half the circumference. So here you can say C would be pi times d, which is the circumference, divided by two. Okay, divided by 2. Okay, now, so here, suppose this is the center. Okay, this is the center. I hope you understand this angle. This angle is how much? Is 180 degree. And the full turn is 360. So this formula, so this you can write C is also half times half times pi times d. Half times pi times d can be the circumference or is the circumference of a semicircle. Okay, or the length of the arc of the semicircle is half times pi times d. Now, what is the relation between 180 and 360? Okay, so if you take the ratio of 180 divided by 360, you can see that is half. I want you to think about this. So we, my intention of this video is to make a formula to find the length of an arc. Okay, now in now this circle has been divided into three parts. So a full turn is how many degrees? 360 degree. So this would be 360 divided by 3. Because they are equal, so that's 120 degree. So this is 120 degree. This is 120 degree. And this is also 120. So now use your logic. If you are told, if you want to find, say, the length of this uh, this part. This is, let me use a different color. Say you want to find the length of this arc. Okay. So let me call this. So this green part. You want to find the length of this arc. Use your logic and tell me what would be the length of this arc when comparing with the circumference. So this is a, so this is center O and this is AB. Okay, so we'll say, you can write arc like this, arc AB like this. This is how you write an arc. So you can say length of arc AB. Now you can pause this video and think, how would you write the length of this arc based on the if you know the circumference well this there are this circumference can be divided into three of these green parts so you can say well that is one out of three of pi times d one out of this is one third of the circumference okay so because this is equal to this part is equal to this part so, well, now what's the relation between 180 and 360? 
Okay, so if you take the ratio of 120 divided by 360, can you see that is one third? Okay, so I want you to develop a formula. So now let's move on to this figure. So this is divided into four equal parts. So I hope you can see all of them are right angle. So it's a right angle at the center. So this is your center. So again, use your common sense if you want to find this length. This length, this is an arc. So let me call this. So this is O, this is P, and this is Q. So length of arc PQ. Length of arc PQ. This is this is what I'm talking about. This would be how much of the circumference? Well, it should be quarter because you've got four equal parts, a quarter times the circumference. Let me write like this, quarter times the circumference. You don't need to remember any formula. So, well, that is quarter times, and you know circumference is pi times the diameter, d. Okay, now again, think about 90, this is 90 degree, and 360. If you take the ratio of 90 over 360, that is a quarter. Okay. Now, finally, uh, let's move on to this. This is again a circle. We are interested to find this length. My intention is to find this length. Okay, so this is a circle. This is a circle. So center O and say, let us say, call this say uh, EF. E so well you can use common sense you can say ef length of ef length of ef is one fifth times the circumference which is pi times diameter okay now let's what would be the angle at this point what would be this angle each angle each of this angle would be 360 divided by 360 divided by 5. So, well, I, I don't want to use my calculator, so let me double it. So, that's the same as 720 divided by 10. 360 divided by 5 is 720 divided by 10. So, this should be 72 degrees. Okay. So, let's find what is 72 out of 360 using my calculator. 72 out of 360. So if you have a calculator, take it out. So use this ABC key. So 72 ABC 360. That would be one fifth. So it's one out of five. Okay. So the, this is a formula that I want you to remember. So length of an arc. So let me draw a circle. This is a good formula to remember. It's basically very logical. So let me draw. So this is the center and I'm drawing an angle. I'm calling that angle as theta, okay, or alpha. So let me call this angle. So this is the center, O, and this is A, and this is B. And this angle, we are generalizing it now. If this angle is theta or alpha, this arc, the length of this arc, AB, let me draw it properly. So let me color this. So this is what I want to find. We want to find this, the distance from A to B. It is not a straight line. This is an arc. Okay, so this is an arc. So you can say length, length of arc AB is always going to be this angle, which is alpha, divided by 360 times the circumference. So let me write like this, times the circumference of the circle. So this is a general formula. But so this is equal to alpha divided by 360 times pi times d, pi times d. So let us use this formula to find, solve a simple problem. So let me draw a circle, okay, and uh, so this is the center, and 
let us make up an angle okay so this is say 120 degree this is 120 degree okay so this is 120 degree and I'm calling that alpha so we're using the formula and you got the radius suppose the radius is say 5 centimeters radius is 5 centimeters and this angle is 120 so let's use the formula so this is say this is a and this is B so we can say length of arc a B length so length of R K B. Let's write the formula is alpha divided by 360 times pi times diameter. So well, alpha is 120 divided by 360 times pi times diameter. Now diameter is double the radius, so this is 10. Okay. So this gets cancelled, so this is 12 over 36, which is one third, times pi times 10 times pi. So this is basically, this is 10 times pi divided by 3. 10 times pi divided by 3, so let's use a calculator. So this is 10 times shift pi divided by 3. This will be a decimal number, so this will be 10.47 centimeters. So you can say this is 10.47 centimeters in two decimal places.